National Assembly has not announced a suspension of its plenary sessions despite the rapid spread of the coronavirus across the country. Although some precautionary measures have been put in place at the parliament, some lawmakers express concern about their safety when they resumed legislative duties this week. National Assembly correspondent Tijesu Adeoye reports. Also resolved to suspend all public hearings till further notice as a result of coronavirus. The leadership of the National Assembly had to announce a temporary suspension of all scheduled public hearings as well as regulate the influx of visitors to the parliament, all in an effort to slow down the spread of the ravaging coronavirus. But plenary, committee meetings and some other legislative activities will continue. We cannot just wake up today and say we are shutting the National Assembly. There are precautions of doing, do, of, do, of doing so. If uh, for any reason a thing is getting out of hand, I want to assure you that even us will have life too. And life, we don't have fair life. So we will, uh, we will not hesitate to, to shut down the National Assembly for a little time so that uh, the place will be safe and Nigeria will be safe for all of us. The Senate gallery will remain closed to the public. A leaked memo signed by the Chief of Staff to the President and dispatched to the leadership of the National Assembly reveals that some lawmakers who could have been exposed to the virus have deliberately refused to subject themselves to health screenings at the airport and also self-isolate. This development has caused panic among other lawmakers who may have been put at risk by the actions and inactions of their colleagues. Although the National Assembly is trying to observe the necessary precautions, there are fresh concerns among lawmakers after some of their colleagues returned from high-risk countries with the coronavirus and have failed to go into self-isolation and even appeared at plenary last week. The decision on whether or not to suspend plenary and other legislative activities will be determined tomorrow at the next legislative seating. TJ Suadui, TVC News, Abuja. Sejesu joins us now for more on that particular story. It would appear like lawmakers are defying the outbreak and going about their uh, duties. But what measures did you see on the ground as we speak right now at the Hallow Chamber? Well, Nick, I mean, first of all, it's just sad to see that uh, people do not really understand the gravity of what is at stake here. They do not understand the gravity of what this virus can do. And the thing is that uh, people that are supposed to be setting these examples are the ones breaking the rules here. And uh, so far, so good. I, I, I was at the National Assembly today. Aside hand sanitizers in offices, there's still yet to be temperature scanners. Uh, some people are still getting getting access into the National Assembly without being checked. Uh, uh, some people are not even using uh, nose masks and, and, and uh, 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 gloves and all the precautionary measures they should take. And from what we understand, over 30, about 30 lawmakers, both at the Senate chambers as well as the House of Reps, uh, have traveled to some of these countries with the coronavirus and, you know, are at risk of having this, but still appeared, appeared at plenary and are still, you know, observing their duties as if everything is normal. They refuse to go into this uh, compulsory 14 day self isolation and have also refused, refused to report for testing. So everything is just you know very very scary right now and it just starts to see that even those that even come into the national assembly do not even observe the necessary precautions they are supposed to take so just so is there a way lawmakers can work from home just in case there is a reported case that would allow them or that wouldn't allow them to meet well, I can't really say that. Aside um, them, you know, uh, uh, mitigating maybe services they're supposed to render to people of their constituents, why they actually come to the National Assembly is just to congregate and bring out laws and also, you know, deliberate among themselves on, you know, how to move the country forward and also bring up laws and policies. So if they should suspend uh, uh, a plenary at the moment, I don't think it will affect anyone. What I believe is it's just to uh, ensure that people are safe. If 
is just suspended, just as all institutions are shutting down at the moment. It is the best, is the best choice at the moment for them to suspend all uh, activities. So them shutting down, if they can work from home, fine. But at the moment, it's just advised that they should stay, or they should close down the National Assembly. I'm hoping that you'll be able to raise some of the concerns you shared earlier with members of the House to know exactly what they're doing as measures to mitigate against an outbreak. Today's Adelio joins us live from Abuja.